this is Aaron from PhotoshopDemos.com and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about extracting a background from an image and there's really three methods or three ways to select in Photoshop and the first way is using the magic wand tool the second method is using the filter extract which can also be accessed by alt control X or alt command X on the Mac the other method is doing it manually and doing it manually just require, requires tracing the image out with your pen tool using a path and then turning that path into a selection and in this case on this difficult subject where we have glass that is transparent against a white background well if we were to say extract this image from this white background or select this cup from this white background we would be left with these areas being very white and let's say you were going to put this against a very co colorful background none of that background would really show through in these transparent areas so we need to make sure that happens so just kind of showing you the different methods using the wand tool the magic wand tool if I set this tolerance to five and this is the tolerance is really what controls the selections with the magic wand selection tool so you'll notice using that if I select that magic wand you can see I've got a selection here and that's basically selected a certain amount of pixels and the pixel data is based on the color value that is within those pixels and the more uh, tolerance you have the more color value it's going to recognize or um, combine so in this case with a low tolerance it's going to select a very small amount of color versus have of 20 for the tolerance I now have a much larger area selected it's basically selected the whole image and we don't really want that and that's not really an ideal type of way to select because in this case we don't have a solid background color that would allow us to make that type of selection if you were doing blue screening um, or if you had a solid green screen behind there it might be a little bit easier to just use the magic wand tool but in this case that's not going to work so the other method is using the extract tool and the extract tool is kind of a unique tool in Photoshop which will more precisely do what you want to do in terms of removing a background so one thing that I like to do is turn on the smart highlighting and the smart, smart highlighting what that will do for you when selecting your edges is it'll automatically adjust the brush size um, of your selection so that it kind of like molds to the shape or the contour of the object so as I go around here this is basically what you're going to do you're going to highlight or outline the edge of this object and I'm just using a regular mouse if you're using a stylus or like a pen style mouse um, commonly known as like a Wacom tablet um, it might be a little bit easier to do this you might be able to get a little bit more precise but I'm just gonna do this quick and dirty for the tutorial and you're just gonna follow that outline and in this case I'm zooming into an object that is rather blurred out so some of these edges are gonna be very very soft and if you want to include those um, any of the soft areas are better to highlight a little bit more so in this case like let's say you really want to include some of these softer edges um, the better thing to do is make a, a larger brush size and then go ahead and outline those fully okay you can kinda of go over them again and even though I have smart highlighting turned on going over them again and using a larger brush size will start to select more of that edge so I'll just go ahead and continue finish outlining this object once that's kinda of wrapped up I'm just gonna take my eraser tool and sorta of just clean that edge up just a slight bit there and kind of clean this up so it's better just to kind of go through and clean up your edges if you like and with this tool you don't want to really so much go totally outside the line or inside the shape you kind of want to do it in between so that you're kind of going right along the edge of the object so you get a little bit of the background and a little bit of the object and then you'll see why I'm gonna do that in a minute now once you have that path fully closed or that that outline fully closed 
um, you can then use your bucket tool. And the bucket tool, you're just going to go ahead and click right inside, anywhere inside that shape. You'll notice that it'll turn um, a blue color. And that's just by default. If you want to completely change that, you can come over to green or blue and change that however you like. But in this case, everything's fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit preview so we can see exactly what this is going to look like and what kind of results are going to render out. All right, so now we've extracted the background. And as you can see, that tool, it works pretty well. We've gotten rid of most of the background. We still have some edges, soft edges here. If you need to clean anything up, like say these edges here, um, what you can do is use this tool. This basically it makes the mask transparent and you'll see that it kinda like starts to erase some of that stuff. If that's not the effect you want to get, you also have this clean edge tool. And if you use that, it kinda cleans up the edges. Sometimes, depending on how um, your selection was, it will sort of uh, bring back some of those edges. In this case, we're just trying to kinda clean up some of these loose pixels and loose edges. So it's a good idea to start with this tool because what it'll do again is just get rid of some of those loose edges and loose pixels you can kind of clean it up that way and then go ahead and use the um, the transparency tool to go ahead and further clean up the edges and again this is just erasing or making some of that mask that we just added a little bit more transparent and then um, once that's fully finished and you've kind of cleaned up your edges, you can check it because this this uh, pattern is a little bit hard to see things against. So you can use the white mat or the gray mat to then kind of check your edges to see exactly if they are how you want. In this case, everything looks pretty good. Um, up here, I selected the edge fairly well. I used a, a bigger line. Um, a fatter selection so it did kind of grab a little bit of those soft edges which is good so that looks pretty okay so in this case I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay and now you can see I've extracted that shape right from the the picture so play around with the two techniques that I just showed you the third technique I'm gonna put in a different video because it's very detailed and there's a lot more steps that are involved so uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope that helps. Have fun with it. And uh, this is Aaron from PhotoshopDemos.com.